Welcome back, everybody, to the betrayer. Or betrayer. I don't know if there's a the. Is there a the? I want a shovel. Ooh. Something over there. Seeing what was at this outpost. Maybe there's... One of these has healing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually, let's go to this one. Yeah, this one has the healing. Suck it. I don't trust you. Yeah. Alright, now we'll jump back. And we'll head this way. We sound really close, so maybe we will, um... Alright. Let's go take a look. Oh, there's stuff down there. Are there peoples? Shovel? You shouldn't have. Nope, just more blood. A great quantity of dry blood cakes the ground. The wound was surely mortal. A half hazard pile of firewood. It looks as though it was dropped carelessly. Interesting. Dug up a steel helmet of exceptional quality, badly dented on one side by a powerful blow. Dry blood crusts the interior. Fascinating. Okay, there we go. Nothing else you hear in the light. Success! Alright. Oh. We're being hunted. Who's hunting us? There you are. Gotcha. More? We will find out by trying to fast travel. Okay, we're good. So what we could do is head back yet again. And I'm just going to... Which way is out? This way? So I don't know why this one has fog. Actually, before we leave, um, let's head to the fort and see if there's anything new in terms of people to talk to or anything like that. Like, what did we find? We found some stuff, but it doesn't seem to matter. Let's see if there's anything new with, like, this guy. Oh yeah, here we go. Samuel Mallard. I found a deerskin shoe near a scene of violence to the east of here. I remember an Indian girl, maybe 15 years old. She was naked except for one shoe. Hot. I didn't like it that way. Oh, I mean, I didn't like the way she, she was staring at me, so I ran away. Do you recognize this dented helmet? Ah, uh, it's the captain's. I found it at a scene of violence not far from here. Then the savage killed him. Alright. Very good then. Investigation. Captain Wink... <laughs> Captain Winky. Okay, um... He remembers fighting Indians. Okay. Naked girl. So we got this person. Needless deaths. Caused the needless deaths. Of several men at the Sentry Post south of the fort of here. What a jerk. He's killed by Indians. Good riddance. Alright, so the woman in red doesn't seem to travel with us, which is interesting. And he seems to be the only man here, right? There's nobody else to talk to. Just you. Gets to turn off the bell. Yeah, the woman in red is not here, so she must just be at the last place you've unlocked, which is over there. Okay, so now I will head back. And we will see if there's anything in the other area. Space to travel to the next area. Now, is this the first area? This kind of feels like the first area. We're at the south gate, forest edge. Let's head back to the forest edge. I'm pretty sure that's uh, where we began. If we go here, I think it's back to the boat. I wonder if we should go back to the boat. Why not? So I think this is a fairly small area. Oh, this was our first... Okay, let's go to the beach. It's beautiful. I'm just going to see if we can, like, listen or anything like that out here. It doesn't seem to. 
Doesn't do anything. Okay, let's try to travel a little bit. South Totem. Ooh, does this still have, like, free arrows? No. <laughs> Damn. I think at first this place was free. Uh, we have nine. Let's not buy any. Oh, something. It gave us a new note, didn't it? Clues. Firewood. Oh. That's old. So yeah, I don't think there's anything in this area. I don't think you can really wander off in this area too. Like, I think it's fairly narrow, the path. So yeah, let's just get out of here if we can. Doesn't seem to be anything of use. All spawns you facing the wrong way. Or the right way, who knows. Wrong way for me. All right, so this area is technically our first area. Maybe it just brings up that note when you get to a new area. Or load a different area. Okay, you heard nothing else in the light. Okay, so all these areas must be pretty much cleared out then. So I think we're safe to head forward. So I will probably skip and make our way back after I heal. So this is our first place. I'm going to take another look around here though. Nice try, buddy. You almost got me. You nearly scared the crap out of me, but I managed to hold it in. <laughs> Gross. Alright, I've traveled to Fort Hendry. No, Sentry Post. So we were one area over just a minute ago, now we're over here. Now, it's not giving me that there's no more noises in the dark. I think that's a rock pile that I can't do anything with. Yes. So I think there's actually another n thing to explore here. So I'm going to try to find it. Touch me. Or maybe I just have to kill everything. Kill them all, I say. Sneaky. Not sneaky enough. I do hear something. I just can't hear it because I'm too close to the town. The bells. Sounds like it's over here. To the east. What's to the east? Enemies. Enemies are afoot. Oh, he doesn't see me. Missed you. Missed you. Three ribs, apparently. I'm not sure you can retrieve arrows. No, maybe you can. Maybe it's just a chance thing. I notice I can't always pick up the arrows when I miss. But it could just be a chance thing. Okay. Okay, there's that. Which we recall from previous times. Boing. Whatever you are, you better have a shovel. I heard chiming. Where's the chime? It's coming and going. It's all in, only in one ear. Okay. I'm gonna guess it's ambiance and not a locational queue. This, however, is most definitely. Ooh, chest. Could be a trap. Yoink. That wasn't it. What are you? This fog. Why does this place have fog? Oh, I guess because I haven't cleared it. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Is that it? 
I'm running out of arrows. Shadow. Who are you? Hmm. Found an... Oh, damn it. Unadorned... Yes. Inexpensive looking sheath for a large knife. <laughs> I'm not even sure I got that. Anyway, okay. Alright, so we can go back and talk to him. It looks like I didn't clear this area at all. <laughs> this must have been before we figured out what we were doing. Okay, it's back that way, but I thought I heard some chiming over here. It really sounds like we're getting close to something. Keep your eye out for the flashies. Again, it could be just the, the atmospheric noise. I don't see anything. Okay, where does it want us to go? It wants us to go to the sentry post, so let's just go to the sentry post. Because we'll have a new person here. Maybe? Hello. I found this knife sheath where the Indian girl was killed. I remember watching Isaac Cantrill draw his knife. He had the girl pinned to the ground. Is that why she was naked? But she wasn't even struggling. She looked at him. I was begging him to let her go. But he stabbed her. Ooh, terrible. He stabbed her so hard, I heard the blade scrape the rocks under her. Terrible. Why? Why did he have to do that? No, oh, there's still more here. I just have no idea where. Let's get away from that bell. That way. That way. Let me out. Let me out of the fort. Okay. Keep the bell on. I'm gonna go this way. To the north! Which I swear we've been here already. Let's head to the tower. Have we already done all this? Like, I swear. Listening. Maybe it was during the day. I guess it was during the day when we were first here. And we had to fight all those knights and stuff, or whatever they are. Gotta be close. How's my... Oh, we're loaded up on pistol and musket. Okay. So maybe we should stock up... At least the musket maybe we should upgrade, because I think we have enough on us to do that. So once we get back to our our normal place, we shall do that. We will upgrade after we've fixed this place that I overlooked. Because we're about to find a shovel, aren't we? There it is. We better be about to find a shovel. Really? I didn't go to these locations? This is like right at the fort. I'm silly. Hello. Why did they kill the captain? What do you mean? The savages. Why did they blame him? He never touched the girl. Is this knife sheath yours? It is. Then you are Isaac Cantrell. Congratulations, you're the next contestant on the Price of Right. That's right. I remember now. You killed an Indian girl. The captain swore he'd hang any man that ravished a savage girl. She would have told someone what was done to her. You did rape her, you bastard. We both did, me and Samuel. What happened to you? I remember Savage showing me a finger with a ring on it. It's the captain's ring, so I asked why he killed him. And he says revenge for his sister. I tell him the captain never touched her. It was me. Next thing I knew, I was on the ground. And he was plunging his knife down again and again. Served you right, you rapist. Alright. And he's gone, so we can go back to the fort. Oh, it's still another one. Man, I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> I was terrible at this location, anyway. Alright, let's head back to the fort. That might be where I'm hearing it from, anyway. Let's go talk to him. 
You raped the Indian girl! I suppose I did. I can remember her lying there, watching me. Why me? Shh. Why not Isaac? She was naked except for one shoe. She was bleeding bad from where Isaac stabbed her. She was trying to say something, but all that came out of her mouth was bloody bubbles. I didn't like the way she was staring at me, so I ran away. Richard Wilkinson... Wilkinson? Was killed in retali retaliation for what was done to her. They wanted revenge, but he told them he wouldn't find the culprit himself and see him hanged in accordance with English law. I don't think I read that right. Too bad. All right. All right. So we learn more about Captain Wilkinson and the Indian girl. Those must be all done. Found all... Okay, so... Episode 7, Merlis just figures out how the game works. Okay, so yeah, we have enough ammo, or money, to buy something good. So these ones we figured everything out about. These ones we have not. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, let's just go ahead and get those all cleared out so I know when there's something new. That's the knife. And then Samuel and Richard and... Okay, so we don't know a lot about ever anybody, really. There's a few people who apparently we know everything about, but... Not a lot. Okay, let's get away from the bell again. So I can hear. I have no idea. Um, let's go up there, away from this place. Oh, that's actually pretty close. Nice. We're gonna go for a musket shot. Since we're full on ammo, we might as well use some so we can collect some more. That's my logic anyway. Oh, we just took some fall damage. Might be the first time I have. Hi. You just lost out here all by yourself. Big bloody pile of blood. That's how you describe that. Yes. I sent those men to die. Oh, why'd you do that? Which men? The soldiers under my command. They died because of me. Because I sent them out of the fort. I said Englishmen shouldn't cower behind walls. Is this helmet yours? Yes. Then you, sir, are Captain Wilkinson. Congratulations. Yes, I am. What happened to you? I could feel myself screaming, but I heard nothing. So much pain, I couldn't breathe. One of the savages opened my visor, leering at me, holding something up so that I could see it. It was a hand. It wore my ring. I realized I was screaming again. I was sinking into the darkness. I let it go. This was what I deserved. You called Samuel Mallet a coward. I saw him on the ground. I thought he'd thrown himself down in fear. I apologized after. He said their blood was on my hands. He said it should have been my blood. And there's more. Back to the fort. Quiet, Belle. You told Richard Wilkinson he should have been blood is spilled. Something, those words, but not in that order. Yes. And I made certain that it was. I remember I was whistling. Whistling? It to pass. I was whittling it to pass to the time. I was anxiously wondering whether he would return after I told those savages that it was him that had raped and killed the girl. He was late coming back. Investigation complete. Did we learn all we needed to about someone? We did. Okay, and the Indian girl. And Samuel Mallard? No, still more. Richard Wilkinson. Okay. Let's go ahead and travel somewhere else where we could possibly hear some screaming. <sighs> Nothing else in the darkness. Brilliant. We can go away. Oh, I think I have to turn off the bell before I can leave the area, though. To the bell. There you are. Didn't even see you. Okay, we are back at some place. Uh, Fort St. George. This is the last place we've been to, I'm pretty sure. Maybe? Alright. Hi! Man, being able to run like that and load a gun, that's pretty good. Oh, you missed. I did not. 
All right, there goes two of our shots. Okay, so here we are. I think we're going to upgrade because I think that is the thing to do. There we go. Delayed healing. Hello. I have learned the fate of a wraith. What did you learn? Unnecessary pause. Samuel Mallard blamed a crime he participated in on his captain, partly to avenge the needless death on his comrades and partly to hide his own guilt. I don't know why I read that like that. I would think that a man who finds himself regretting his own deeds would be forgiving of the mistakes of others. Yeah, what a hypocrite. All right, let's buy some stuff. So, I like the musket, so let's go ahead and buy... Oh, that's ammo. There it is. Musket powder horn. Let's do it. It's done. Oh, wow, we can do it again. Let's not do it again. Not enough loot. Excuse me. Okay. So we can buy explosives and stuff? Okay. What does that do? Charm of Vigor. Oh yeah, you can find charms. Can you? I totally don't remember. Oh, I totally... Oh yeah, look at that. So we could actually get one more charm if we could find one. Charm of Swiftness and Charm of Soldiery. Move 4% faster. Reload musket pistols faster. That's good. Okay. Oh, look at all this stuff. So this gives us money, doesn't it? Oh crap, I just sold my bow. Did I? No, I didn't. What did I just sell, though? That looked like it was expensive. Like, probably better than this bow. Oh, no, that's 200. Oh, maybe it was a common bow as well. Okay, well, I'll have to see in the when I edit, if I remember to. But that kind of scared me. I thought I <laughs> got rid of my bow. All right. Oh, wow, we have tons of ammo. Or money. Let's buy something again. So what else could we use? I think we have all... We could get a quality longbow, but that's 700. We could also go for a crossbow. Not a huge fan of crossbows, though. So maybe we'll save up for the next longbow. That has 45, 15, fast, long. What's ours? Ours is 40, 15, fast, and long. I think we looked at that before. So it only gives us actually an extra 5 damage, but maybe that will be worth it. Alright, so from here, you hear nothing else in the light, and we hear nothing else in the dark, I'm pretty sure. So we are going to get out of here. I think. Is that wise? Let's hang on. I'm going to go back there and talk to people, just in case there's anything new. So let's ring that bell one more time. Last time I rang it, that skeleton appeared. I'm not sure why. Scared me. Let's find out. Alright, Hammond, nothing. Sounds like I'm supposed to talk to someone. Emma. Okay. Calvin Stevens. Emma's hands were stained with rabbit blood. The smell must have spooked the horse. Yet only that morning, Winfred told me that the girl had stolen a child and bewitched a gentleman of the colony. What happened cannot have been chance. Whose child was stolen? Charity Hammonds, and it was her husband who was bewitched. She testified to it. Psh. You testified that Emma stole your child and bewitched her husband? Outrageous! I only told the truth, and that I lost the child I was carrying shortly after Emma came to work for me. And I was desperate to conceive again, but Tobias would not lie with me. In the end, he gave Emma what should have been mine. She was pregnant. You didn't claim it was witchcraft? No. Though I did claim it wasn't. Oh, I didn't claim it wasn't. But it was Tobias who truly sealed her fate, saying that he had been snared by her sorcery, had led into... Oh, nice. Led into iniquity. Iniquity? Iniquity. Against his will. When he killed himself, some said... It was her curse still on him, but it was only guilt for betraying her. Well, good thing we came back. Oh, wait, I hear something. It's 
not time to leave yet, people. It's not time to leave. Ooh, a chest. Do you have a shovel? Chest is empty. What? Why have a chest? If it's going to be empty, why not just leave it empty? Okay, we still need to find information about Tobias and Emma. Okay. What is that? Thought I heard someone. All these rocks that I can't loot. I want to loot them. Run away! Oh, I missed. Gotcha. Is that the only one? I tried to dodge. I failed. Ooh, four shots. Let's stop using that. Okay, let's go to our bow. That only has eight. We do not have a lot of ammo. Maybe that way? Northwest. What's northwest of here? Nothing. Okay. No. Uh, I guess we have to... Oh, uh, we could go to the valley road. And listen to from here. Alright. We're gonna find out what this noise is. But we have run out of time for today. So we'll have to continue... The next episode. Hopefully we can clear this area. Figure out why that's the whole story to the woman who was murdered for witchcraft.